Okay, I will continue to let people in, but shall we get started? It's uh, 12.01. Um, Kai, you want to go ahead? Sure. Thanks, Jean. Hello, everybody. Sorry for the technical dif difficulties. That was my my fault. Uh, thanks for, for joining us. Um, we have uh, Spencer Vanderkamp today. He's the co-founder of the Reeler app that connects consumers directly with local fishers. Reeler increases Hawaii's access to fresh, local, sustainably caught fish. Spencer would like to explore whether Reeler might be able to directly connect consumers to aquaculture producers and discuss challenges in the aquaculture supply chain and whether Reeler might work for you. So thank you very much, Spencer, please take it away. All right, thanks Kai, hi everybody. Can can you all hear me? Yes. Great, all right, great to be here. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, just, this isn't gonna be a hard sales pitch or anything like that. I just wanna kind of go through this and, and see if, if it makes sense and if this is something you guys wanna use. Um, so to give you a bit of background, um, Let's see here. Can I switch? There we go. All right. So my co-founder, Lauren, and I, um, we're both from Hawaii. We grew up here, um, kind of semi-commercially fishing, small scale, uh, day boat kind of stuff. Um, and while we were at the University of Hawaii, um, we uh, that was right during COVID and kind of the supply chain shut down. I'm sure that impacted all of you. Um, we were selling fish and uh, had a really hard time. So we kind of turned a school project into a mobile app that helped us sell fish kind of more direct to consumer and bypass a lot of the traditional supply chain. Um, so to give you, this is kind of just a generic slide deck I'll go through just to kind of give you some background and then I can walk you through um, the specific app as well. So yeah, I'm sure you've all seen um, fish in stores isn't necessarily the freshest thing. Um, so we wanted to kind of address that and help people get fresher fish. Um, we also, as fishers ourselves, we want to help the producers get more um, money and more earnings for their hard work. Um, Cause a lot of it kind of gets diluted in the supply chain. Um, not super sure how it looks for you guys, but from the kind of wild caught side, we've got a lot of steps in the way um, and it gets pretty convoluted. But with, uh, with Reeler, with the mobile app, we basically enable people to sell direct to consumer or restaurants. Um, so yeah, that's where Reeler comes in. We're a mobile app marketplace. Um, it's similar to kind of like Facebook marketplace, but it's specifically for um, seafood. Um, so it's on the uh, Apple app store as well as the Google play store. So we're on both iPhone and Android. Um, the way it works basically is the producer, the fisher will post what they have available for that day or that week, whatever it may be. Um, anyone in their radius, um, like geographically, will get notified. Um, and then it's just like an online store from there. So the buyer can learn about it, read about it, um, order and pay right through the app. So it takes their credit card, saves it on file for convenience and repeat sales. Um, and then as soon as they order, the money will get transferred to the seller's bank account within a couple of days. Like it's direct deposit and it's usually pretty quick. Um, after that, we have um, kind of the that final mile has been a little tricky for some people, but that's where we basically offer pickup or delivery. So if you have a little storefront set up or for the more commercial fishers, we have like at the dock, people will come and pick it up right from the dock. Um, or you can set up kind of a pop-up shop, farmer's market, whatever it may be as a pickup location, or you can even offer delivery. Um, and what's pretty cool is the app will also facilitate that. So you can choose like how far you're willing to deliver as well as uh, if you want to charge a, a price for that as well. Um, so to give you an idea of kind of the scale of this, um, these are some old metrics. So right now we've got about um, a little over 7,000 buyers signed up throughout Hawaii. You can kind of see those pins on the map there of where we have buyers located um, and about how much... Uh, kind of do about that much a year. So just to give you an idea of the scale we're working with. So we're still still a small, small team, just kind of figuring things out, trying to help help the, the producers. Um, very much grassroots, not a big corporation or anything. It's just Lauren and I trying to make it better for um, locals here, as well as the like producers of sustainable um, food here in Hawaii. 
Um, so yeah, so some of the benefits we've seen for us as fishers, like we've pretty quickly enabled fishers to earn about three times their average earnings just because they're selling direct to consumers rather than going through the supply chain. Um, we're helping people get so much fresher fish. And what's really cool is it's all from like a, a known um, local source. So everybody's looking for that like traceability in their supply chain. Like they want to know where the food's coming from. So we go um, a long way to help that. Um, yeah, that's all I got for the slides there. I can walk through the app if people have any questions. Um, if there are any burning questions right now, I can take them. Otherwise, we can get um, going on the walkthrough. Anybody? All right, cool. Yeah, thanks for listening. I'll uh, I'll switch over to the other screen where I can show you what the actual app looks like. Hi, excuse me. I have a real quick question. Oh, for sure. Um, just when I might have missed it. When um did you guys start this? So we launched um at, it was like mid late 2021. Okay, thanks. No, I just I recall there being something similar, um, but I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> Maybe it was you guys, I'm not sure. Yeah, so we did actually we had to change our name. Uh we had like a, a copyright issue that we didn't really want to go to court about like we we had the trademark and everything but it was still an issue so we just changed the name okay thanks um, so, so it probably was us thank you all right. all right we can see this one so here is the other screen this is what the app let's see if i can hide that Okay, perfect. All right, so yeah, this is kind of what the actual user interface looks like. Um, you can see here, we have one post available in my area right now. I'm in here in Kailua, Oahu. Um, you can see we've got an AVA posted. There's the price, there's how many are available. Um, you can see some information up at the top about how far away it is. Um, Hunter offers pickup only. He's in Honolulu and it was posted yesterday. Um, Depending on the fish, we have like a different icon, but uh, you can kind of see, you can click here and then get some more information. Oh, just sold out. So yeah, that's what it looked like when it sells out. But if it wasn't sold out, we could click on like the um, the fish and, and learn more about that specific type of fish. If you might not be familiar with it, um, you could also have clicked on the seller to get more information about them. So we have a little short bio, like you can see me here. Um, that's me with the big uku, and we've got a picture of the boat, a little bit of boat information, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so other than that, we have some features up here where you can see like recipes, um, directory of all the types of fish we've got. It's like a little clunky um, because we're pretty new and small team, but uh, kind of give you an idea. It kind of helps to inform people about stuff they might not be familiar with. Um, as far as posting goes, um, if it does make sense to anybody who wants to try it, it's free to post. Um, we make money by uh, like a commission on the sales. So it's, I think we take 9% commission um, from the sellers. So basically you can just adjust for your price to, to cover that. Um, and then we also pass on the, um, retail rate GET to the buyers. Um, so when you sell through Reeler, you only are obligated to pay the wholesale tax rate at half a percent instead of that 4.7%. So a little bonus there. Um, so if you did want to post, say you've got some fish, you're about to do a harvest, you can go to the post here down at the bottom, and then you can kind of walk through the user interface of what you'll do. So for example, if you've got a whole ahi, um, we may have pricing suggestions depending on what it is, but a lot of people know what they wanna charge anyway. Um, you can choose how you wanna sell it. This is a very specific example. Um, I'd love to hear more about what types of um, species you guys are, are growing and selling. Um, but for instance, for the ahi, you could sell it as fillets or whole, um, and you can kind of choose how you wanna do it there. You can set your price and how much you have. Um, 
that you can see here, it's like fillets or whole fish, or you can choose just fillets. And then it'll obviously be just the price per pound. Um, and we even have it as bags. So this was a, an interesting feature that we kind of discovered through trial and error, where you want to sell like the exact amount, kind of like they do in grocery stores. So you can like weigh out a bag or a package for the exact amount. And then um, it allows you to input the weight of each specific bag and charge the exact amount. So there's, you're not missing out on any. Um, and then you set your pickup location and your availability. So you can choose up to three days just because we want to keep things fresh and keep it like a market that that actively gets posted and sold out, um, kind of keeps people interested that way. So you can add multiple days, say, okay, I want to be available from 1230 today to uh, whatever it may be to 7 p.m. So you can just set that there. And then if you wanted to add, so that's for today. And then if you want to be available tomorrow, you can set that as well. So this is kind of like the pickup window to show like when your store is open, if you will. And then if you are willing to deliver, you can set a max distance. So I'll deliver within five miles for five bucks. And then you can post a description about what makes this special, how you caught it, uh, anything or, or how you grow it, like your, your special practices there. And then you can add photos. Um, we do have stock images for a lot of these just to have something, but the better photos you have, obviously the better, um, the better amount of sales you'll be able to do. And then, so once you hit post, it'll pop up like this on the home screen for everybody. People will get notified, um, like a push notification on their phone. Um, and we also send out text messages, um, but yeah, it'll look like that. And then they can kind of view and then order. Um, and then once you get an order, it'll pop up under the cell tab. So there's a buy and a sell tab here at the top. It's a cell tab. And then you can see what each person ordered. So they ordered two pounds of ahi, and this is the cost. They want to pick it up. And here's the ETA of when they're going to be there to pick it up just to help with um, kind of the coordination of that, trying to make it as easy as possible for the sellers. Um, and then there is a rating system for buyers and sellers, just if people are always flaking on you or whatever it may be. Um, and that way just keeps more trust in the marketplace. Um, what else? Yeah, so once they do that, you can, if you had an active order, um, there'll be a message button as well. So you can message them right through the app to say, hey, I'm ready when you, when, whenever you are, or they can say, hey, I'm running a few minutes late, that kind of thing. Um, there's, there'll be a running list of these um, as well. Um, yeah, under that message tab on the bottom right. And then if you have, if you need any help, there's a question mark button up here. You can click that and it'll set up to, to send an email, to send us an email at customer support. And then we try and be pretty good about that. Um, other than that, This is kind of a, a walkthrough of how it works for people who might not be as familiar. And when you first log onto the app, it'll walk you through these screens as well, kind of on how it works. So that's probably the best resource. If you're not sure about anything I said today, or you're, you're unsure, you can go here and check it out or reach out to me via email, or I can leave my phone number in the chat if anybody wants to talk further. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, does anybody have any burning questions about anything I talked about? I, I had a couple of questions, uh, Spencer, and um, thanks for that. That was great. Um, and I know we, we did talk about this briefly before, but I just maybe uh, refresh my memory and then everybody else can, can hear that your answer too. Um, is there a way, so say we're a small aquaculture grower or a big aquaculture grower, and we wanted to create an account, is there a way that we could sort of distinguish ourselves from fisher people, uh, you know, as a grower? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, as far as distinguishing yourself to the customer, um, as of now, we could do that through, um, so here, let's go here. In this fish directory, not only does this show um, customers what they're looking at, these are also the only fish that are available 
for sellers to post. Like when you click on like, I want to post this type of fish, there's a drop down menu. Um, so what we can do is we can make, instead of it saying like ahi shibi grade, we can say like parentheses aquaculture or something like that. Um, so that's one way we can distinguish it. And then we can also put it in the description here. Um, so it'll show, and we could even in this little icon um, that you see here, so that like kind of cartoon ahi there, or you can see this just little logo here because we didn't have a, an icon for Ava. Um, we could put some kind of emblem, whether that be a leaf or some kind of green symbol to say like, this is aquaculture. Um, and then you could also add it to the description um, when you uh, like when you actually post your catch um, just to differentiate a little more. That's great. Oh, John has a question. Um... John, you want to just ask it? Unmute yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, just um, you know, for a farmer, it'd be great if we could use this as a as an interface to take pre-orders. Um, I don't like to harvest fish unless I know they're sold. But if I can get pre-orders, then it's real easy. I got okay. I got twenty orders today. We'll harvest twenty fish. That sort of thing. Yeah. So um, I guess it it depends a little bit on like your how how long it would take you. Oops, sorry on how long it would take you to like harvest those. Um, but yeah, you could easily post it with the pickup time, like starting tomorrow afternoon. And then that gives you like a day and a half to, to go and harvest it, depending on how many orders you get. Um, that's one way we could just kind of experiment with it right away. Um, and you could even just specify in the description, like, Hey, um, we're posting these now it's aquaculture. We're going to harvest it on next Friday. Like, so you can pre-order because a few people have asked for that. That hasn't been something we've been able to like build into the, like the code yet. Um, but we're still kind of experimenting. So yeah, we'd love, we'd love to try that out. And um, we're, we're super flexible with people too. So like if they misunderstood and like, Oh, I wanted it today. I need to cancel. Like we can, we can work with, with both sides to make sure nobody um, kind of gets worked over there. Yeah. Thank you. But yeah, does that make sense about like being able to like th the uh, pickup time time slot, if you will? So when you are here, you could go to availability. So this is today. You could change this till tomorrow and then you could set your time starting at 4 p.m. Um, so that way it would show as like this is available for pickup starting tomorrow afternoon. And then you could just kind of put in the description something like we will harvest tomorrow morning or something like that. That's great. Go ahead, John. No, yeah, that, that could work. Thank you. Cool. Sounds great. And that was actually going to be my next question. So thanks, John. And then I, I have I had just one other question and i think you may have already answered it with the description portion but um you know a lot of our smaller growers especially have variable sizes uh colors and species and you know a lot of times there's sort of different market value for a lot of little ones or you know one big one is there a way to convey that over, over through your app yeah so we it sounds like with the level of specificity we would need, I'd be happy to work with people and kind of like onboard their like store and their like their operation. Um, so we could add, for instance, um, and that's just a spear. So I think my screen just went away. One second. Cool. Yeah. So we could just go to the, um, to the fish directory, if you will, and make it. So these are like tilapia small, and then you would post that separately, which would allow you to charge a different price. Um, and then, then you would list those under, um, oh, it just keeps, it keeps kicking out, but anyway, so yeah, you could do that. And then, that would be listed under like a bag. So you have bags of these small fish rather than like a, a whole fish. 
but yeah, that's it's super flexible. We can work with um, individual operations to do that. Um, and we could even, we haven't done too many of these, but you could even say like, well, uh, I know a lot of, a lot, if not all of you guys are in Kona and the majority of our buyers are here on Oahu. Um, you could offer like mail or delivery, some kind of solution there. We could work something custom out where it's like, just provide your address upon, uh, upon your order and we'll overnight it to you. And you can, if you added the delivery option, you could do like a flat fee of $20 mail or whatever it may be to, to ship that, ship those products to people. That's great. Anybody Ooh, have yeah. any? Anybody? I have one small question. Um, I was looking at download the app and I was looking at it. Um, apparently, yeah, you guys are the guys I used before because I had made a purchase previously and it was still in there. <laughs> so oh, tied to my account. So it is that. But um, under, you know, when you open up the app and it has today's catch near and then say Honolulu or wherever you are, um, what is the radius that it's showing you of? Is it showing me of like the whole island of Oahu or? It's about 12 miles, um, but it's based on zip code. So that varies quite a bit if you're like on the edge of a zip code. Um, and that's something we can play with. Uh, we, we had it as like the whole island, but then people were getting like totally inundated with with messages and pop ups from like why and I when they're not in that area. So um, we can we can change that. And then we also have the ability pretty easily to do like um, SMS text messages um, for those. So for the more remote locations that might not have anybody near them, um, we can send out text messages to like a specific subset of our buyers too. So it's like, okay, we know these people like Mempachi will send them text messages versus like sending it out to everybody. Um, and then you also have the ability to choose the location that you post in. So it's free to post. It doesn't cause cost us much. Um, you could make a post in Honolulu and you could make a post in Mililani. So, and then it will notify those people as well. Awesome. Thanks. Um, I, I just want to also say like, uh, taking a look at the app, there is a few new added features since the last time I did use it, like rating your, 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 uh, the seller. Um, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh yeah. Thanks. Thanks for your question. Yeah. We're, we're working on it slowly, small team, but, uh, we're trying to trying to keep it going. Can I ask Keone if uh, you used it as a consumer or a, a fisherman? Did you? Oh did yes, you? consumer. Okay, <laughs> mahalo. And uh, Ame has a question. Go ahead, Ame. Yeah, thanks, Jean. Um, hi, Spencer. I. I, I don't know if you were at Pace, I think, back in 2019. I do remember you guys. I think it was you guys who did that pitch for your application in the, with the old name, the trademark name, mm -hmm. uh, a while back. But I'm glad to see you guys are going. So congratulations. Five years, six years in, you're still going. So good. Um, other question was, I noticed that you have mostly fish species, but what if we're like doing aquaculturing of um, macroalgae. I, I know um, Kai is into a lot with the seaweeds and the macroalgae, but like um, some grassalarius species like ogos or um, ovas or other, other kinds of species of seaweeds that could be aquacultured in tank on land. And then um, near shore species, do you guys have interest on limpets or otherwise known as apihi or um, uni? Do you guys yeah. get, ever get requests for those? Absolutely. Um, absolutely we do. And we, we actually worked with, uh, let's see, I think it was like the, the sea lettuce out of, um, oh no, it's not showing up. But, um, yeah, no, we definitely have those other species. Um, we've done a fair amount of like crab, um, octopus. Um, I think OPH is on here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 
so yeah we're definitely interested in those other in those other species as well um we have abalone on here um yeah there it is the the sea hawaiian sea grapes oh, the sea know. grapes yeah 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 those and then abalone um we even had uh, like a, a local woman who is a teacher here during the year and then she's uh from alaska so she'll go home in the summer and she'll catch all her halibut and salmon whatever it may be and then like bring it back and slowly sell it so that was kind of a, a unique solution we we made for her um but yeah we're, we're very open to yeah there's the the salmon um, nice and yeah we're we're super flexible here so we can yeah so that's kind of an example of the harvested to order so right and over in Neha. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, okay. So that's something we can we can do there so they're pretty we could even specify it however you wanted like whether it be say aquaculture just harvested to order um yeah yeah because if we're like aquaculturing um opihi and uni then if it were available on like a per harvest basis, then okay. Yeah, no, that answers my question. Thank you. Yeah, great. I, I think, I mean, objectively, I think it'd be perfect for this kind of model to be able to say like, hey, it's almost like a pre-order. Um, for all intents and purposes, it would be a pre-order. So yeah, this would kind of be that custom way to keep it super small scale and, and sustainable. And um, Kai, here's kind of an example of, like the different sizes. So we'll have like the Kona crab large size, which kind of sell differently than the the smaller ones. Um, so that's how we can specify. And then we'll also have like a small size, um, a specific listing. And then that way, so you would post multiple like different products in the same listing. That's great. And thanks for the great questions, everyone. And Ame, let me just chime in and say that consumers, as a consumer, I'm definitely interested in, in buying uni on this site. <laughs> so please post that when you have it available. Um, then research being developed. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, other questions or, um, you know, I see Amanda is here with us today. And I wonder, um, Spencer, if you might want to address food safety or anything like that. Yeah, so um, it's definitely um, a big a big thing for us. Um, we, we make sure that all of our uh, producers meet the required um, specifications for like handling and things like that. Um, when it's luckily when it's like whole fish, um, especially for the wild caught stuff, there's not as much um, like regulation around it. But then when you start processing, then you have to use like the, you have to be certified and you have to have the proper um, location as well. Um, but yeah, if there's any specific questions there, I, I'd honestly have to look into it more about like the, sh the shellfish and even the more kind of like agricultural-esque things such as like the seaweeds. Um, I'd have to to double check on those, um, but yeah, I'd I'd love to hear any. I'm sure you guys are a wealth of knowledge on that too, so be happy to open a dialogue about it. And I I can see in the chat right now, John just um, yeah, thanks, Amanda. Uh, just commented that uh, he just downloaded an app and he was he was suggesting it might be helpful if there were like a, another category farmer or producer uh, other than just no boat <laughs> category if that's possible that's a great point yeah we can work on that and in in the meantime like we are a very small operation it's just us so feel free to like kind of hack it if you will like so under boat name, like you could put your, your aquapont, like aquaculture farm name or something along those lines, and then post a photo of your like facility. Like that's, that's totally okay. Um, but yeah, we will try and work on um, a more like specific category classification for that. I'll write that down. Yeah. 
So Spencer, basically, if um, one of our aquaculture partners, producers, wants to start selling, they would contact you. You could add a category for whatever their product is, if it's not already on there. Um, and we could test out that, you know, harvest to order kind of a concept. Yep. Um, or, you know, just um, they could sell like like the regular fishers do. Um, and I have to say, I, I'm a <laughs> I'm an enthusiast of the app. I love fresh fish. I love getting a notice that, hey, there's Ono like five miles away from me that was pulled out of the ocean yesterday and it's ready for pickup. <laughs> so I love it. I love the app. I would love to see um, that happen for aquaculture as well. Um, and then thank you, Amanda, for putting your contact info there. So Spencer, Amanda is a wealth of info on food safety issues. If you have questions, please feel free to contact her. Yeah, Great. But thank you. I definitely other, will. Yeah. But other questions for Spencer while we have him on? I guess maybe I have one question about restaurants. Have restaurants tried to access fish through Reeler or is that a in the works or in planning or? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, we've a lot of the like very like fancy restaurants actually have used it to get that kind of like one-off special things, um, like especially the near shore fish that they kind of have a hard time getting elsewhere. Um, yeah, like Mina's Fish House at the Four Seasons, um, the Gyutaku restaurant chains bought some stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a thing, so. So there's potential for aquaculture producers to connect with restaurants over this app. And definitely. Okay, cool. Yep. But yeah, um, thanks, uh, Jean, for pointing that out. Um, restaurants, consumers, a lot of it is family, but we do have like a fair amount. The restaurants tend to buy more. So it's kind of, uh, they'll want a little better pricing, but it's kind of a trade off that everybody makes. Um, but yeah, to get started, um, I'll put my email in the chat in case anybody wants to reach out. Um, and then you're free to sign up. Um, we do have it defaulted. So when you sign up, like you won't be allowed to post right away, but um, I, I check that every so often. And then if you need to reach out to me, um, I can kind of speed that process up. But yeah, I'll go ahead and put my email in the chat um, and yeah, feel free to reach out and see if we can uh, make it work. My phone number there too, feel free to give me a call or text. Um, probably more responsive to text and emails, but um, yeah, either one. But yeah, thank you all so much for your time. Thank you, Spencer. That was great. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. All right, mahalo, Spencer. Mahalo, everyone. See you next time. All right, thank you all. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.